welcome back to another video i just got out of the shower and i'm making a water i just recently started this peak bt fountain beauty electrolyte water it has hyaluronic acid ceramides and it's also a electrolyte but i was doing the what's it called i forget what it's called trace mineral drops which i love and they don't really add much of a flavor i do still have to add lime or lemon to my water but i wanted something with hyaluronic acid for skin benefits so i picked this up it is pricey i went ahead and did the subscription service because i needed elect more electrolytes anyway i ran out of the trace mineral drops it having the hyaluronic acid and ceramides as like an extra thing i wanted to try it out for just skin stuff so i usually put it in this big water cup and it's not flavorful enough to have this big water i feel like it's better for a smaller cup so i still add lime or lemon to it but it's like a berry flavor it's pretty good it doesn't taste bad and i've been having it every day for the past week or so my issue is i almost always have to have some type of electrolyte i get these weird tension headaches i don't know if it's the fact that i drink too much water but if i work out consistently and i'm not drinking something with like electrolytes or even just adding pink himalayan salt to the water i feel it in the morning it's like right behind my eye a tension headache so i always like to just add electrolytes to my water it makes it easy the water tastes really good so i've been trying this out skin hydration improves elasticity and reduces fine lines youthful dewy glow and deep cellular hydration so I can link it. Just wanted to share. That's what I've been doing recently. Okay, I just brushed my hair and I took it out of this little hair towel that I have, which I love. This is from Crown Affair. Highly recommend getting a hair towel. I feel like it's changed just the way that my hair dries and also air dries. It's really really nice i can link it down below i wanted to touch on hair health and it's not, i don't even want to call it a hair journey because i'm not like losing a bunch of hair or anything i'm just trying to regrow back these spots on my head and i have hair growth there it is so hard to see because it's the blondest hair ever and growing up i had literally bleach blonde hair for a majority of my childhood if not all of it so i'm thinking that any new hair growth not existing hair is growing back really blonde and maybe it will start to darken as it grows out but my natural color is on the dirty blonde side i don't know these pieces that are growing in are so blonde i can only see it when i go up to the mirror in my bathroom it has like it's almost kind of like a ring light around it if i get really close to that or if i shine like my phone flashlight on it i can see the really blonde baby hairs i just finished up my third bottle of like the mini bottles that i got from acton acre and i'm just to be honest not super impressed with the results after using it for almost four months i'm not expecting my hair to grow like overnight but i've been using scalp serums since october I started with the Vegamore one and then I switched to this one and I just feel like there should be more hair growth by now. My hair in my head that I already have, it's not new hair growth, grows like a weed. It grows so fast. I'm always getting an inch or two cut off at when I get my hair done, which is like every eight to 10 weeks. My hair grows very fast. So I just was hoping from October to April, I would have more results. So I'm switching again to another product because I want to step it up, step up these results. I already use this Miel Rosemary Oil, which I will be repurchasing again. I'm right here. I use this every single time I wash my hair. Without fail, I always put this in. I wore it to the gym this morning. I went and worked out and I just put it on and then I put like a headband on. One of these little headbands. I have like a pack of them. And I just wrap it around my head so you can't see where the oil is. And then I just tie it with one of these scrunchies that like hold your hair up really well. And they don't like tug or pull. They're really nice. I got these off of Amazon. They come in like a pack of three or four. Really like these. 
So I usually do that when I go to the gym or like I'm washing my hair. So the Sephora sale is going on and I almost purchased, I needed more dry shampoo from Vegamore. This is the, my favorite dry shampoo. This is my second pack of three that I purchased. I'm on my last bottle of the first original three pack and I love this stuff. This is like the best natural dry shampoo and I was like a Batiste ride or die for seven years ever since I started like training my hair to go longer between washes but then I read upon dry shampoo and how bad it is for you so I switched to a natural one. I do eventually want to try the one by Crown Affair but I've been loving the Vegamore one because it's just so easy to spray in but bought another pack of three. I almost bought this from Sephora but I'm not a Rouge member. Sometimes it's hard for me to spend as much money in a year at Sephora to be in that Rouge category. So I don't get the 20% off. I get 15, which is great. But when I bought this on the Vegamore website, they were doing a 20% off. I had like a code, I think it was, I think I saw it on TikTok. It's TT20 or something. I can put it on the screen right here if you're interested in using the code. But I got 20% off, so it just saved me more money buying it through the Vegamore website. But they're always doing deals like 20% off, 15% off. So I've just been buying it through Vegamore. I bought my first three pack from Vegamore as well. But love this stuff. So I was going there to buy that. And I ended up buying their three pack of the hair serum. But the advanced hair serum. So the original one comes in like a pinkish bottle, kind of like this pink color which is the regular one, and I wanted to step it up, try the advanced. So I got the advanced three pack to see if it works. So I switched back to Vegamore. Actimaker is good. I liked it when using it. It was kind of the same as like a Vegamore, but I just want to try and see if the advanced really works. We're less than a year out from the wedding, and I have plenty of time to grow out those pieces of hair but I'm really trying to focus on it and I've been trying to focus on it since I got back from Italy last September. I just started to notice that it was thinning all throughout here. So I'm really trying to grow it back. So we're trying this out to see if it works. It's the advanced one, but I love hair serums anyway. I'd probably use a hair serum now, um, even if I really wasn't trying to focus on like hair growth i really just like how good it is for your scalp health i don't know i really love hair serums now as weird as it sounds and it doesn't make your hair oily or greasy or anything it doesn't force you to wash your hair like an oil would like this obviously you have to wash your hair so we're on still on the hair serums to try and see if this advanced one works i used it for the first time last night um i obviously washed my hair today but i'm gonna put it in my damp hair before I blow dry it. You also could pick some samples. I got three. I think I got a shampoo, but that's in my bathroom. Um, and it had like a scalp detoxifying serum, which I forgot to use before my shower. I like remembered in my shower. And then I used the deep moisture repair mask in the shower. I don't, I don't love the smell of it. I don't know if it's because I use, I have like all my products because I wanted to really touch on hair stuff that I'm using, but I don't know if it's because I use this Detox shampoo by Way, which is the most drying detox shampoo that I've ever used in my entire life. It is so drying. It, it smells incredible though. It's just really drying. So I use it like every three weeks on my hair and I really have to go in with a mask after because it's so drying. It really removes like basically every oil on your hair. Um, but I like using it every couple of weeks or just a detox shampoo in general. You're not supposed to use it every wash. But like product can build up. I use oils on my scalp, serums, things like you just need to get it off your hair. So it's really drying and on top of being blonde, it's just not something that I would recommend using all the time. Especially if you're blonde because your hair is already dry. But use this. So I don't know if I should try it with using just my regular shampoo because this is already so drying. It just felt like it was still hard to brush through my hair today so my favorite leave-in mask has been the crown affair one the renewal mask it smells really good i love all of the crown affair products i use the shampoo the conditioner the mask and i also use the leave-in which which i use today and i have their hair towel i purchased the whole line around christmas for myself and it lasts really long and i love 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 their products 
So, highly recommend Crown Affair. I'm definitely gonna give this another try though because I feel like I didn't give it a fair chance with the Detox Shampoo because it's so drying. So I'm gonna give it another shot to see how I like it and then go from there. But they sent like samples with my order. I got to pick some samples, so I wanted to try this out because I've like heard good things on TikTok, but they're all ads, so you never really know unless you try it. So I didn't wanna purchase the big one of it. So decided to do a sample. So I'm gonna give it another fair chance, but this is the hair stuff that I wanted to share. I love, love, love the Star Shampoo. So just wanted to share. Christian's probably really mad at me because I keep making him mute the TV and the masters are on. And I just filmed an outfit of the day for my TikTok and now I'm doing it for YouTube. But I thought this outfit was so cute. It's a little bit patriotic. I just got this crew neck from Daily Drills from their most recent drop, which was the best drop they've done by far. Their crew necks are so good. So if I can influence you to get anything from Daily Drills, it would be the crew necks. They're incredible even after washing. I love them and I love this color. And then these boxer shorts are from Princess Polly. Really comfy, good fit. I love boxer shorts if you've seen my previous vlogs it's my favorite trend for spring and summer it was even in last summer and i had a few boxer short style shorts the best i can link these and then socks are from amazon this bezel tennis necklace is from lily clasp and then hoop earrings are from amazon it's a little comfy at home fit just hang out on the couch we're going to dinner later to this really good italian place and i can't wait to share it with you guys it was so good we went a couple weeks ago for a date night and it was incredible best italian spot in orlando it's in the dr phillips area but really really good so i'm so excited to go later today just got changed for dinner and i want to share my outfit before christian's family got here and we left to head out but I'm wearing this cute striped yellow top. I am loving yellow for spring. It's so fun. So this top is from Daily Drills. I just got it from their Aussie Spring Drop, as well as the matching shorts. And these jeans are the Levi Ribcage jeans in the 27 inch length. I am 5'2", I'm petite. <laughs> A lot of people think I'm taller than I am. I don't know what the illusion is, but I am very short 5'2", on a good day. I don't even think I hit 5'2", to be honest. But these jeans are great if you're short, and they also come in a 29 inch length, I wanna say, but super high rise, fit really great. I would say they are true to size. Although the reviews say that they run really small, I don't think that they do. I think they're very true to size. And then these sandals are from Tiki's. I always forget how to say that brand, but I think it's Tiki's. And they're just these lace up little sandals. And this is the fit for Italian. I'm so excited. It's the next day, Christian's family just left a little bit ago. I think I mentioned that they were coming into town, but I can't remember if I did. But Christian's family is in town to visit the theme parks and they stayed the night at our apartment last night. So we went and got breakfast with them at Easton Market, it was so good. Easton Market has great coffee. It's like a bunch of different little like restaurants and shops like all in a building. And they have really great coffee, really great breakfast. But one of our favorite breakfast spots actually wasn't opened anymore. They swapped it out with another spot. So I don't know what happened, but I know that they have a freestanding location, I think somewhere in like the Winter Park area. It's called Farm and Haas, it's so good. But they closed that breakfast spot down, so we got the Winter Park Biscuit Company. It's like vegan chicken biscuits, and it tastes so good. So that's what we got, and we came back. I deep cleaned the apartment. I'm doing a bunch of laundry. I need to wash the bed sheets, things like that. I'm feeling really lazy. 
I don't want to meal prep at all. I would rather do anything but meal prepping. So I think we're going to do something easy for meal prep. I'm just trying to think of what that is. And I need a grocery shop. I need to plan our meals out for the week. So, but it's already a pretty productive Sunday and it's like one o'clock and basically the whole apartment's clean. Just need to do the laundry. But I got my Sephora package in the mail. I placed an order on Sephora because I did need a couple things. I did get the Kiehl's moisturizer, but I needed it. And I'm not the rouge for the Sephora status. It's really hard, honestly, to spend that amount of money at Sephora personally, because truthfully, I don't need a lot of stuff from Sephora. So I'm not the rouge. So my sale didn't start for a couple days, but um, actually it ends tomorrow. 4 or 5 to 4 15. I had no idea that it ended tomorrow. Yeah, so I picked up a couple things, but the keels I needed really bad. I was running out of moisturizer. I was scraping the bottom of the tub, so I picked that up earlier before the sale. Fortunately, I couldn't get it. I couldn't wait any longer. Yeah, so I thought I would share what I picked up. I got some restocks of things and then a few new things, which I'm really excited about. The first thing I got is the Crown Affair Ritual Shampoo. This is a repurchase of an empty i love the crown affair line i have the whole crown affair line the shampoo conditioner leave-in conditioner the hair mask the comb like i have it all i love their stuff i'm not out of the conditioner yet it's lasting me longer than the shampoo only because i shampoo twice and i switch between the hair mask and the conditioner when i wash my hair so i'm not really going through that as quickly but i repurchase this and i'll most likely repurchase the conditioner when it's out and the hair mask honestly the whole line is incredible i really do want to try the dry shampoo from crown affair but something scares me about the applicator it's almost like a baby powder and a brush so if you've tried the crown affair dry shampoo do you love it i've heard amazing things about it but i'm just interested with the application process of it it's there's just something so easy about spraying it in your hair versus like dabbing it in with a brush i don't know just let me know your thoughts this is the last repurchase i got the new face activator gel i got the smaller size because it's honestly pretty pricey for what it is when i first got the new face i got the bigger tub and that lasted a really long time i got it in november it's the middle of april it's not completely empty yet, but I'm getting there. So I just wanted to pick it up while the sale was going on because it is expensive, like I mentioned. So I picked up this. I've been using the new face every single day. I've been trying to stay consistent with it. I feel like it has made a difference over time, but you have to stay consistent with anything. Truthfully, you have to stay consistent to even notice a difference. But I've really liked the new face. It instantly de-puffs, sculpts the face, especially in the morning. That's when I usually do it. So highly recommend if you're on the fence, about purchasing it i know the sale's over and sephora actually does carry the new face but i purchased it off the new face site because i think they have a new member coupon code like a new email sign up coupon code or they like run certain sales throughout the year so i picked it up from the new face site but i've also heard people buying it pre loved or refurbished from nordstrom rack i don't know how great those are if they're refurbished i don't know if there's anything wrong with them long term i don't know so but I highly recommend the new face. I'm also pretty positive that I got like sample perfumes and I don't see them in the box, which is a bummer. But next I got the Rare Beauty Pore Diffusing Primer. I actually don't use a primer. Just feel like it's almost like unnecessary, but my sister recommended this to me. And I got the mini size. I think it's about $15 and I'm excited. I don't know how long this is gonna last, but I have engagement photos at the end of this month so i just want my face to look good i want my makeup to last throughout the whole photo shoot so we're gonna try this out see if i like it next i'm excited about this because i've been dying to try it i just don't need another contour stick i have like three of them and i didn't necessarily need this but since the sale was going on and they had a mini version, I thought I would give it a try. It's the Westman Atelier contour stick. And I got it in the truffle shade, which I think is the middle shade. They only have three shade options. So I'm excited about this. And I like how they offer like a mini option. So you can kind of like test it out instead of committing to a full thing. And I know the mini one will last a pretty long time too, which is good. So excited about this. Lastly, I got two Huda Beauty easy bake setting powders i didn't know what shade to get and i figured you could just never really have too much powder i got the cupcake and sugar cookie i heard some mixed 
reviews of the cupcake that sometimes it was noticeable color underneath your eyes. So I got this. I was gonna get the minis, but the minis were named something different, but I don't know if they were the same colors. So I thought cupcake and sugar cookie were safe options, and I feel like sugar cookie really can't go wrong with a translucent one. So I picked up both of these. Never tried it, but I've heard really good things, so I'm kind of excited. Kind of used like a cheap powder. I've used Morphe, and then I used like the Makeup Forever powder, which can cause a little bit of flashback. So I don't love it. So I was kind of excited to try something new. I don't love the Morphe powder underneath my eyes. I love it for more all over my face because it's a little bit drying. So we'll give these a try. But that's all I picked up from the Sephora sale. What did you guys get from the Sephora sale? What do you keep repurchasing? I would love to know. I don't really go out and buy like a ton of makeup because I kind of just stick to like the same things. But I would love to hear what you guys picked up from the Sephora sale. Okay, I'm back in this room because I'm doing laundry i'm putting my laundry away but i briefly shared this on tiktok and i think it's a good way if you're kind of like over certain items in your closet maybe just specifically more sweatshirts so i have this sweatshirt i shared this on tiktok but i have this sweatshirt i've had it for probably five years christian got it for me and i was just kind of like over the front of it and i have daily drill sweatshirts that can be worn inside out and I know the trend is like kind of there things that are like inside out sweatshirts specifically so I have this sweatshirt and it feels like a brand new sweatshirt doing it this way it feels like I have like a new new vintage e style sweatshirt and it works with this one specifically it doesn't work with all of them now this looks like a vintagey crew neck and it's plain obviously I took the tag out so you can't really tell unless you're super close but now it's like a new sweatshirt and it looks vintage and just like worn obviously the other side is super cute too but this is like plain nothing on it and so I've been wearing it like that and I love it it's like a brand new sweatshirt to me it's just fun um, to try and look at your clothes and kind of style things that you're like sick of or over again in a new way if that makes sense so i've just been like hanging it up inside out and wearing it inside out like over my gym clothes i wear sweatshirts to the gym it helps me like sweat a little bit on the treadmill so i can't do it with every sweatshirt so i have this one this one's like specifically my self tan sweatshirt i don't know if you guys have those clothes that are like specifically for self-tanning but I got the sweatshirt in Nashville when I went was it three years ago now no two years ago but like this one has a tag like this embedded into it so I can't can't do it with this one but other sweatshirts you could do it with if you're looking at this daily drill sweatshirt this is like damp I hang these to dry but they're made to be worn inside out which is so cool so I just maybe like think about this sweatshirt and like how I was kind of over the Colorado graphic on it and now it's like I didn't have to spend any money I just flipped it inside out so if you have sweatshirts like that that you're maybe over try flipping it inside out maybe it will look super cute and it will give you like a new sweatshirt so <laughs> anyways or or don't think that you could think this idea is so stupid if you want to I don't care um, I just think it works for this and I just wanted to share. So I'm going to finish putting away my laundry and then I need to desperately go to the grocery store. I need a meal plan for the week too.